Today, I'm seeing how fast I can pay my first debt in every Animal Crossing game. That's Animal Crossing for the GameCube, Wild World for the DS, City Folk on the Wii, New Leaf on the 3DS, and New Horizons on the Switch. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. So we'll be playing the games chronologically, starting, of course, with Animal Crossing for the GameCube. And I know that there's regional variants of the game in Japanese, but your first debt in all of those games is going to be the same, that being 19,800 bells. Considering the process would be the same across all three games, it probably would just get repetitive, so we'll just do this one. So, for all these games, we will of course have to do the chores, because before you can do anything in-game, you have to do the chores. Yep, that's all I got, buddy. Not nearly enough! You only have a thousand bells? You're joking with me! You're so short, I can't help but laugh! So now it's time to do chores. These chores do marginally chip away at your debt, but that won't be the main way that we pay it off. The chores are also pretty similar across the first few games. We'll have to plant flowers and saplings, say hello to everyone in town, deliver furniture, send a letter, do a favor for a villager, deliver a carpet, deliver an axe, and post on the bulletin board. And doing all of that earns us 1,400 bells off of our first debt. Wow, thanks Tom. So how do we get the rest of the money? Well, we'll shake a few fruits out of trees to buy the shovel, and then we'll get the money rock. The money rock. Money rock. Money. Rock. Please. I give you my full... Oh man, I didn't even get the max amount out of that shit. Well, because I messed that up, I only ended up getting about 5,600 bells. And you might say, well, why don't you sell- That's you, by the way. That's what you sound like. Well, why don't you just sell the fossils? Well, it's less straightforward than I'd like. We have to talk to Blathers, and he explains that he can assess fossils, rather the Faraway Museum does. So we skip forward a day to get the letter from the Faraway Museum, and now we can send our fossils to them, skip another day ahead, and get them back assessed. And how much are they worth? That was only 4,000 bells? What the hell? I wanted more than that. Hopefully a few more fossils will do it. Fuck! It's raffle day! Shit! Damn it! I gotta go another day ahead. Fuck. The last day of every month in the original game was Raffle Day. I missed that feature, even if it's inconvenient for the purposes of this challenge since you can't sell anything that day. Yes! Alright, that should be enough. Alright, I think that's finally enough to pay off our first debt. I don't know anything about him, man. Alright, very good. So, when he raises his fist, that's when we will split to the next game. When he raises his fist. So, right... Now. Alright, cool. Took us 53 minutes, but we have completed Animal Crossing GameCube. And now we're on to Animal Crossing Wild World for the Nintendo DS. This game aged like a fine milk. Wild World may be graphically challenged, but what it lacks in pixels, it makes up for in charm and debt. We have 19,800 bells of it in this game as well. The chores will, once again, knock some of the dead off, leaving us with only 18,400. Luckily, we can do the same thing that we did in the previous game without having to time travel to get our fossils assessed. We'll sell some fruits that we picked, buy the shovel, get our money rock, dig up some fossils, and talk to Blathers, who spent the last few years earning his fossil assessment certificate. What have you done the last few years? And I think, I got the fucking UFO! Oh my god, I got Gulliver! Holy shit! Dude, I think in years... I think in years of playing this game casually when I was younger, I never saw this guy. Wow. And I... What? I've been doing this for like 20 minutes and I just saw him. Alright, cool. Alright, you have to do it individually. Get each fossil appraised individually. And yet that's still better than sending it to the faraway museum. Yeah, that's good. Um, that's not enough, but we're pretty close. I could probably just get, like, pears and shit until we get enough. After selling a few pears, we pay off our first loan, and it only took about half the time that Animal Crossing GameCube took. Thanks, buddy. You're all right. Oh. All right, when he puts his fist in the air... Split. All right, Animal Crossing Wild World took about half an hour, but honestly, not too bad, all things considered. And now, we don't even have to change console to go on to the next game, that being Animal Crossing City Folk for the Wii. And you know 
that I'm about to strap up. City Folk rather infamously earned the name Wild World HD due to its similarity to the previous title. Now, I don't agree with that necessarily, but for the purposes of paying our debt, yeah, okay, yeah, it's pretty similar. Same house, same debt, same chores, but our method of paying off the debt will be different. I set the date in the intro to Bunny Day, meaning that as soon as we're released from our corporate chains, we'll sell all of our stuff, buy a shovel, and dig up not fossils, but eggs. Then we'll crack these eggs open to get one, two, three bunny foil. Bunny foils can be exchanged for egg furniture from Zipper. Three of those items will sell for a lot of money and give us more than enough to pay off a first debt. Anyway, this guy in this game was fucking great. He's just like this like, oh my god, I can't eat so many of these things that I bury anyway. This guy's fucking awesome. So we get an egg wall, an egg dresser, and an egg bench, which sells for over 27,000 bells. Well more than enough to pay off our first debt in City Folk. Okay, 18,400, we have more than enough. And we stop the timer. As Soon as he raises his fist, and we are on to Animal Crossing New Leaf for the 3DS. Cool. Now, New Leaf is the first game to shake up the flow chart. We are, of course, the mayor of our town, meaning that instead of chores, we have to go through the opening sequence of registering ourselves with Isabel, talking with Tom Nook and showing him where we want to live, planning the town sapling, and then after all that, we're free. After checking with Tom Nook to get our bill, we find that it is significantly less in this game than in previous games. Paltry 10,000 bells, let's do it, man. And that can be easily covered by getting the maximum amount from just one money rock. So we'll pick fruit, especially perfect fruit since it sells for more, buy a shovel from the rat, and find our money rock. All right, very good. That should be enough just in that one rock, I believe. But anyway, when he raises his fist, there. Dude, that took 15 minutes. That was not bad at all. 15 minutes. All right. Well, I'm going to power that down now, and we will move on to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, New Horizons is definitely the most different from all the rest of the games. Our first debt is in Nook Miles rather than Bells, and before we can get to earning miles, we have to move into our new abandoned island. We'll make our birthday the same day that we start our island, for reasons that you'll see very soon, finish the tutorial, go to sleep, and receive our Nook phone. I actually already made a video where I paid off my first debt as quickly as I can. That video goes into much more detail than this one will. But once we're free to start our new life, we'll knock out some stamps that can help us get to 5,000 miles as quickly as possible. We'll take a picture with the camera app, edit a custom design, open and close our phone a bunch of times, post on the bulletin board and redeem debt miles, island shutterbug, edit credit, nook phone life, bulletin board benefit, first custom design, and shady shakedown. Then we'll sell what we have for seller of unwanted stuff and buy something cheap from the ABD for shop to it. That puts us over the 5,000 mile threshold and allows us to pay off our final first debt. Uh, about my moving fees. Ready to pay. Alright, and then when we step outside and raise our fist in excitement... Do you even do that in this game? Do you do, you do like, the celebration? Does he do, like, the... Yahoo! Yes, he does? Okay. Not sub 240, unfortunately, but that's okay. Here we go. Why'd you lie to me? And in two hours and 40 minutes, we've paid off our first debt in every Animal Crossing game. Any closing thoughts? Oh, whoa! 